Hey everybody, next audit here from another client inside of CRO Incubator, uh, which is our school community. And I'm gonna be reviewing the site here on both desktop and mobile. Uh, we can see here that they're doing uh, audio software, add-ons and stuff like that. Have lots of different products related to music. Uh, and we're gonna be re reviewing their funnel here, both on desktop and on mobile. The big thing we see uh, straight off the bat on the home page is that there's this video that displays without audio and it goes into depth on the products they're doing. And then you got a little bit of text and some of the products and you can hear it in action, stuff like that. I think the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that the video is overwhelming and there's no context. Context, so basically it's hard to understand what it's about. So if you have low knowledge of the products and you're not sure what you want to buy, then this video can be a little bit confusing. Um, uh, another thing that is a golden standard in Zero is that you always want to have the number one most important action above the fold. So we're not leading customers anywhere. We're just almost confusing them with the video. So it'd be much better to have a video that dis that can play if you want them to play, but not all play it. And then here a button at the top that says, you know, browse our products, see what we have in store. Like all this is really important to be able to show them how to get closer to the product. And there could be another uh, button that is less important um, that says watch how it all works or whatever. And then it is, it, the video will play based on the button. So that's the number one thing I would say. And then you have, you know, different things here in action. I don't know if it makes sense depending on how many products you have, but I like to be a bit more organized and show that, you know, the different types of products you have. And then you can click to see more instead of diving so deep into the actual products up front. It's just a little bit confusing. And um, those are the things I would test on the homepage. It says free shipping on all orders here and you can click it away. But I think there would be other things other than free shipping that you should be displaying up here or you could, have it sort of change uh, every few seconds. So that would be another thing that I would love to, for you to experiment with. If you click on the hamburger menu, we can see all the products and I'm not familiar with them. So it is a bit overwhelming here. If you have low um, knowledge, you won't understand what these products do. So I wonder if it makes sense to you know, put the products underneath a main category and then under that you'll have the actual product names. That could make it a little bit less confusing. But obviously I know that people that buy these products are much more into it and understand a bit more. You also have all these different things like blocks and reviews and I would try to test out hiding them all under one button because you wanna put more focus on having people buy the actual product. So that's just one thing here. Uh, when I click on this product here, uh, there's an image that's not loading and you can see the actual product and the price. Buy now is a really big ask. It would be better to add to cart. So changing the button from at, uh, from buy now to add to cart would be better. Um, I love an image gallery under so you can see additional images. Uh, these icons are massive and I would probably make them smaller and closer to the add to cart button up here. I would also have some risk reversal. So, you know, some kind of guarantees, stuff like that. And maybe a few more reasons why if people should shop with you. Uh, that'd be quite helpful. And then if this is smaller, there could be space for videos that explains the product, maybe social proof, reviews. I think one thing that I'm seeing is that reviews are really lacking above the fold. And it's very difficult to actually see um, if people are happy with the solution. So there's a lot of stuff here. It's very technical and it's probably really great if you're into it. The reviews down here are not great because they're so far down, no one's gonna read them. So you wanna highlight uh, the reviews and you wanna get video testimonials of people and talking about the product. That's really, really missing right now and, and it's definitely a huge issue. Also, you know, system requirements, how it works, all that could go way up here towards the top of the page. And then there could be different categories you could click on and then, you know, it would show you that. So imagine, you know, a, a 
a long button here that says, you know, hear it in action, and then one that says system requirements, and one that says, you know, reviews, testimonials. You can click on it, and it will expand out and show the content so you don't have to scroll so much. Because right now, everything is sort of dying down there. And when you create, you know, little category buttons, you can, people can pick and choose what they want to see, which makes it so much better. So I would rate this product page quite low in terms of how well it could perform even worse is that the images are not loading but it's, there's a lot of room for improvement here and you could probably double your conversion rate if you do a better job on your product page i'm um, just going to see okay it loads when you load the desktop version there were some issues with mobile that's definitely a big big problem obviously you can tell that everything you've done on the site has been tailored to desktop because everything looks much nicer on desktop so your mobile experience is definitely a big issue. Um, probably you have a lot of people buying on, on desktop because it's a very advanced product. But still, I think you, you need to consider that there's a lot of issues. And a lot of the issues that I talk about could also be resolved if you had the all the main categories here and you can click and it will display underneath all the stuff. When you say excellent live support, that doesn't mean a lot. Of, so I'd love to back it up with reviews and people saying it's a great experience. You could really uh, improve your conversion rate by adding Trustpilot to your site. So you'll get tons of reviews of people that are really, really happy with your product. But let's try to buy the product. Uh, then you see this stuff and you have to agree to a uh, terms and condition thing. Um, Let's see here. We don't actually get the cart stage. We go straight to checkout, which I wonder if you tested that because if there's upsells and other products that make sense for people to also buy, if they buy one thing, it'd be nice to do upsells. But maybe there's no natural upsell. Um, what I don't like is that when I'm, I went back from the checkout, I can't actually find my cart now. I'm like, it's totally gone now. So there's no cart button. Uh, that's not too good because a lot of people will go back and forth and so on. So you only go through this way. So that should definitely be fixed as a huge, huge issue. Um, you can redesign this stuff uh, as well to add in testimonials and reviews. Just hold their hand, make sure they're happy and feel like they're in a good place all the way through. I think one of the biggest issues on your site right now is that you don't know if it's a credible brand you're buying from and you don't know if anyone had a good experience you would have to click here and then re read these reviews and you have so many and you need to really do a much better job at displaying them and displaying the reviews underneath every product as well and then the other thing that's missing is you need video testimonials of people that have used the product they talk about how they're using it and how they're improving uh, certain aspects uh, of their business with it or in, in terms of how this product works, you need people to explain that. So that needs to be done. So if you add all that in, social proof, risk reversals, better UX, um, and so on, you could probably double your conversion rate. So lots of room here for improvement, but uh, hopefully you can use that, and I'm excited to see how you go about it.